was on stage for about an hour tonight. He was here talking about his new book, which he has said is less of an autobiography and more of an analysis of his decision making in the White House. Former President George W. Bush greeted fans who filled Unity Temple on the plaza. His book, Decision Points, focuses on important decisions in his life and his presidency. Tonight, Bush linked money the U.S. spent fighting AIDS in Africa to the fight against terrorism, saying it was sending hope. We face an enemy that can only recruit when they find hopeless people. 1,300 people bought books as their ticket to the event. Will Kirby was there early and used the time to start reading. I've never read any memoirs of any past presidents, too, and obviously they make some of the biggest decisions affecting our country, so um, just get a little insight on that. A few anti-war protesters were outside both before and after with signs pointing out the cost of the wars. It's a justice issue because this money could be going toward health care, toward feeding the world. Those who attended the event say it was a chance to get to know the president and to hear him defend his legacy. He is more comfortable speaking to us as a regular citizen than he ever was as a president. He's truly enjoyable. And I believe the history will show him to be a great president, and it's just a shame that he had to undergo all the criticism that he did. Bush, who is now 64, joked about his age, sharing some light moments along with the serious memories. If you're wondering why you didn't hear more from the president, it's because reporters were only allowed in to cover the first 10 minutes of that hour-long event, and we were not allowed to plug into the microphone system, so that's why the audio quality wasn't quite as good as some of those outside interviews. Now, that said, Bush has kept a pretty low profile in the almost two years since leaving the White House. He's now speaking out, and he waited until after the midterm elections to release the book. Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.